space, a source of wonder, discovery and news. And of news specifically, a lot of late. You can't turn on the TV without getting some update about what's going on with SpaceX or a new discovery made by one of the great telescopes. We are very excited about what's going on in these fields and all fields where science is stepping into the future. Welcome to Science for This Week, where we from Chrono Studios share with you some of the amazing breakthroughs and advancements going on right now. NASA has had its ups and downs over the past decade, but all that is changing rapidly and with the recent news and projects it might just be bigger than ever. 19.3 billion dollars. That is what has been granted to NASA to achieve their primary missions in the coming year. That is 1.27 billion more than they expected from Congress. The new funding makes it possible for launches under the commercial crew program to take place as intended in 2017. For some time now, NASA has had it hard, having to rely on other countries, most notably Russia. Ever since the cancellation of the shuttle program in 2011, Americans have needed to use Russian shuttles in order to get to and from the International Space Station. The bump in funding is an attempt to gain more independence. Recently in biology, gene manipulation, it's a grey area to most people, but so were almost all forms of science at one time or another. Now for the first time, scientists have been able to identify the genes responsible for the brain and linked to our intelligence. They believe that the key to human intelligence is located within the M1 and M3 areas of the brain. I'm not pointing at anything, is it? These structures are responsible for forming complex networks in the brain that influence certain tasks or traits. These traits, such as intelligence, are governed by large groups of genes that work together. Genes, not jeans, the things you wear on your... Not trousers. The scientists believe that their findings suggest it might be possible to work with these genes, modify intelligence and even cure some diseases. Back to space. Specifically, living in space. It's something everyone has thought of before and it might become reality for a select few. And not in the International Space Station. Congress has instructed NASA to build a space habitat by 2018. Now this may seem bossy, but if you give someone 19 billion dollars, you do get somewhat of a say in what they use it for. Thank you for having watched Science for this week. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you some other week with more science news. If you would like to stay in touch with what we are doing, you can follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. We are everywhere.